Oh my god, if we're going to a show, I want to conceal this pimple. Okay, we'll conceal it then. Okay. Well, just in case we... I'm not telling you that we are going to a show. No, no, no. But I'm saying it. Here we go. Well, cheers to you now. Okay. Cheers. Cheers to... What the fuck is about cheers. to unfold? Cheers to early birthdays. Ooh. What flavor is that? Watermelon. Rainbird. Did you like it? I don't mind it. Jet didn't like it. He said it felt like it was thick. It's got a something aftertaste. It's one point six standard drinks. Christ. <laughs> no, <this> is... <laughs> I really want to tell you. No, okay. don't tell me. Okay. Don't tell me. Okay. Let's at least wait till we like. I can sort of work out maybe. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Driving. No. 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 I think have you had? You haven't had dinner. No. Obviously. Okay. Cool. Aren't we going to dinner? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I ate a salad. I had a big salad. I had a big salad about two hours ago. I had a big salad maybe at like 1.30. Where door three? What if I told you to come and look at the screen? Because the traffic was so shit. Well, slate the surprise. Oh my god, you're fucking kidding me. I bought tickets for her birthday to go get that in my hands. It was COVID. Yeah, we were meant to go and then it got cancelled because of COVID. And you know she's still doing a live comedy show? It is. Well, we've made it. Cheers. We've made it. Happy early birthday. Thank you. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. <laughs> Can't wait. All right, guys. Looking a bit shit, but mission success. He was so surprised. It was so awesome. He was very surprised. He loved it. It was really entertaining. Okay, guys. This has literally been the week in my life. It has been fucking crazy. Mood is finally done. I'm so excited. I have my own space now. I'm really excited for the challenge. I um, am grateful and I'm really looking forward to the future. Anyways, to round out this video, I want to show you a package that arrived for me today that um, is a bit of a, like, I don't know, kind of pinch me a little bit still, I feel that way. <laughs> six years later and my plaque for the uh, passing 100,000 subscribers on YouTube has shown up. So I'm stoked. I honestly, I remember when I hit 100,000 and I just thought that they only like handpicked a few people to get the plaque, but I have one. That's so cool. So here's a letter from YouTube and it says, do you remember your first subscriber? Your hundredth or your or your a thousandth a thousandth subscriber? Chances are you do, and we know that you'll definitely remember your hundred thousandth subscriber. Your fans may have found you whilst you while searching on YouTube, learning about you through a friend, or maybe show maybe you showed up as a recommended video. No matter how they came across your channel, your audience stayed, and then num and and their numbers increased because of you and the community you've built. We are proud to honor your impressive milestone of reaching 100,000 subscribers at the Silver Create with the Silver Creator Award. Congratulations. Keep creating, keep building. We can't wait to see what you do next and we're here to support you every step of the way. So awesome. This is really cool. That is so cool. Oh my god. That is super super cool. I'm obsessed with that. I can't wait. I want to frame it or something. I'm not really sure what to do with it. I just don't want it to get... Oh, you can hang it. I kind of don't want to do anything with it until I like, own a house. <laughs> don't want to like lose it or damage it, but so cool. Anyways, good morning. I am trying to pretend that I'm not as anxious as I actually am right now. So I'm about to go and film the first solo episode of my podcast today. I'm fucking scared. <laughs> 
I have only done episodes where I'm speaking to someone else or like interviewing someone. So yeah, I don't know. The thought of just doing it by myself is a little bit daunting. Although I do like obviously have conversations with you guys here on YouTube, but I don't know. I feel like I feel very comfortable doing this. And I guess because there's no one else like around me right now, like it's just me in my own house talking to you. Whereas there, there's obviously like producers and sound techs and like, you know, the whole thing. So it's, um, it's just not a very normal thing to do. But anyways, I am trying to look at it as like a opportunity for me to just like grow as a person. I'm putting myself in a bit of an uncomfortable situation, but the news is, it's a podcast episode, so it's not live. Everything can be edited and like, you know, chopped together and whatever. If I get like lost at a point, I can always just stop and take a minute and then come back to what I was saying. But yeah, I don't know. I think because it's going to be the first episode that goes out to everyone, I'm putting a lot of pressure on myself for it to be this like amazing episode. Yeah, I think that's why I'm stressing so much just because I really want it to be good and I really want you guys to love it. I know that the episodes with the guests that I've had on so far, I love those episodes, but I'm just like not overly confident in myself, which I don't like. So anyway, I'm trying to not be so stressed about it. I will show you guys what the studio looks like and then I'll speak to you after. I'm about to have a peppermint tea. I've been to the gym this morning. I'm gonna have some CBD oil right now, actually. Okay, all right. I'm doing it. Do you want to say hi to the vlog? Hi. Say hi, Chloe. <laughs> say hi, Caleb. This is us, team, for the day. That's not intimidating at all, is it? <laughs> I did it. <laughs> so it's a couple hours later now. Sorry, I think that might be a little. I need to clean it. I did it. Very proud of myself. I think it went okay. I think. Like always, you can always like do better, right? In hindsight, you're like, oh, I wish I said this or I wish I said that. But yeah, it'll be interesting to see how it all comes together. And hopefully now we can actually make this thing go live for you guys because it has been a little while since we've been starting to record these, but I didn't want to make them go live until I had a few like banked up. Yeah, really exciting times. Okay, so before the gym, I normally just, oh, well, I've been putting like tan on my face so I don't feel like I need much um like coverage on my face especially because i know it's the gym people have such a fucking thing to say about wearing makeup to the gym but honestly if it's not affecting you directly what do you care freaking brain is out of control so i just put on hyaluronic acid the snail mucin that i've been using and also some vitamin c that's what my skin my skin is looking like now my lips are feeling a little dry oh i also got this i'm so excited to try this not sponsored the new ultraviolet cream screen i think it's like a spray there was another one that um yeah it is it's like sunscreen spray love a sunscreen spray i also used to use sunscreen like the sunscreen sprays all over my body because it just gives your skin like such a nice glow darling wow i need to pack why we go to melbourne <laughs> and i haven't packed a single thing i'm gonna have to do that when i get back tonight we go down for one of jet's friends is getting engaged so we're going down he's having an engagement party i think his family's from victoria so we're going flying into melbourne we've got a night in melbourne and then we get the train i think to geelong and that's where we're doing that. So that should be fun. It's gonna be freezing. Freezing. It's like a literal top of like eight degrees. You best believe my little lady is coming with me because I can't travel without her anymore in during these colder months. I don't know how I was coping before, to be honest. We do have a launch date for these, by the way. It is um, the end of June. So, historically, we launched on a Thursday. So, I assume that's when we will do it um, the Thursday of that week. So, put it in your cowls. I'm so excited. I cannot wait for you guys to feel these. I have been wearing these samples, not this exact one, because this was the like pre production sample. But I have about five of these in all different colors from like, and like the stages of when I was doing the fit changes. I'm gonna have like a big warehouse sale, I think at some point and just sell all of the chill samples that I've got because there's nothing wrong with them. They're just, um, yeah, they just, some have like sleeves that are a bit too long. Some have like waist size that are too long. And yeah, so I think I'm gonna go, I'm gonna, I normally donate all of my samples to like a women's shelter or like a mission. Well, hello, Mr. Kenny, we meet again, huh? Not fucking bad. What happened there? Well, I thought the glass was 
Did you glitch? Are you okay? <laughs> okay. Glad I got that on film. Guys, look at this view. I'm shook. It goes the whole way around here. Holy dooly. Where are we? Tell them. We're in Melbourne. Where are we staying? At the Vibe. We're obviously. staying at the Vibe. Obviously. So we're here. We're going to, he wants to have a shower, freshen up, and then go and eat somewhere. If people are gonna ask my top, it's a long sleeve top. It is an old cook eye top that I feel like is too small for me now. But anyways, my jacket and my jeans are lioness and my shoes are New Balance. And that is it. Well, this is just stunning. We're walking to lunch and I think that's like a parliament something. We just walked past Harry, Harry Potter something. It looks like fake in this city. That looks like a fake building, I swear. You reckon? That building looks fake. It does if you look straight up and just look at the clouds. <laughs> Anyways, we're on our way. Ooh, on our way to have lunch at a restaurant called Distacio. I booked the wrong one. Jet booked the wrong one. There are two locations for the restaurant. And Within a K of one another. Yeah, but they're close, so. We're just gonna walk to the other one. Incoming hundred dollar cancellation fee. No, surely not. Surely not. Hello. Hello. Look at you. You're just a beauty, aren't you? Really. So I take my hat off and I have soft, fluffy hair. No. We made it. This is where we're eating. I've eaten here before, and it's divine. Look at this like restaurant. It's so beautiful. Stunning. Like a cocktail or a wine? Yeah, we're going to have a salad. Ooh, is that on there? Yeah, salad's on the rocks. Sorry, I don't I'm going to have a... Ooh, I'm going to have a... Aperol spritz. Oh, sorry. It says Aperol there, oh. but it's not... Um, I love the colour of this paper and the green. <laughs> Hello, well, we're going to get, definitely, yeah. some orange mini, and did you pick the pizza? Just get a margarita. Yeah. Yeah. So, milk. They're cherries, darling. Okay, okay, this is cherries. No, thanks. <laughs> I'm good with the olives. Yum. Cheers. Well, oh my god. I'm so excited for this. We're going to Geelong. Jet's friend is having his engagement party today. Yeah, tonight. Uh, today. This afternoon, yeah. yeah. And that's Demo and Karis so picking us up from the airport. So shout out to them for being legends. The train station. From the train station. That's right. Did I say airport? Did I? Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Good evening, everyone. I realized that I forgot to finish this vlog, so now I look gross and rank after the day that I've had, but just editing this vlog and realized that I didn't finish it, so I wanted to jump on and finish it for you. The week has been nuts. We got back from Melbourne, and then I just jumped straight back into work. Um, our launch for the robes got pushed back by a week just due, due to some delays that we had with customs, which was super annoying. But anyways, everything's all fine now. Everything's unpacked and all ready to go. So we're actually launching the robes tomorrow night, which is super exciting. It's currently the 28th of June. We're really looking forward to that. I've literally just been head down, bum up, like just focusing all of my energy into chill as per. I actually have some more exciting news though. I did a little YOLO moment and went ahead and booked a trip for me and my mum at the end of the year to go to Hong Kong together, which I'm so excited about. Hopefully I can get back to Bali at the start of August. That's my plan. But yeah, it would have been, it will have been 12 months since I've been overseas um, by the time I go to Bali in August, which is insane. I feel like I used to just go overseas every month literally before i had a business and then i just like obviously have don't have time and um travel is unfortunately not a top, top priority for me anymore now that i have the business so anyways um i'm really looking forward to hong kong that's in november and then hopefully yeah i can get back to bali in august that's the plan i've been sick the last week unfortunately i've had like this awful 
fucking virus or whatever, like influenza or whatever that's been going around. It's been so shit. I'm definitely coming out the other end of it now. I'm going to go have a sauna tonight. Hopefully sweat some more of that out. What else? We give you guys more of just like an update. I will definitely take you with me on the launch tomorrow and I go pack all the orders for the robes. I'm so excited. The reaction that we've had on the Instagram has been insane. So yeah, I have a feeling that the robes will sell out, which is, um, it's like the best, the best feeling ever. But I also just sort of wish that I had I wish that I had more money to buy more stock so that more people could buy them because I feel like, yeah, it's in times like this where obviously we're still a small business. I can only afford to buy as much stock as I can afford. So, yeah, sometimes people do miss out. But um, if there is enough like want or need for a restock, obviously that's something that we absolutely can do. It will just take time. But anyways, I'm getting a bit ahead of myself. I'm just going based off of what the um, response has been from everyone in our emails and on our Instagram DMs. So, it's all really positive feedback, which is very, very exciting. But anyways, I'll take you guys along on that journey with me as it unfolds as of tomorrow. But I'm going to sign this vlog off here. You get the rest of the previous vlog that cut off for some reason. I have no idea why that happened. Right before I was telling you what I was surprising Louis with for his early birthday, early birthday present. So you get that now. Now you know what we did. We went to Julie Morris. It was fucking funny. It was great. He really loved it. We'd been meaning to go and see her live since like before COVID. He actually bought me tickets to go and see her live for her tour that she did before COVID hit. And then of course COVID hit. So we never got to go. So it was really cool. I got to surprise him. He had no idea. And I like kind of returned the favor. So I bought him the tickets this time. It was just like, it was fun. It was wholesome. It was a vibe. And yeah, that's it. I'm going to go and have a sauna right now. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it this far, I love you all so much. And I will see you all in my next video.